I think oh. it's about fulfilment. And uh, so I think it's a, a process to achieve something that doesn't actually ever go away. I think that's the ambition okay. to me, strangely. So are you ambitious? Yes, I am as a person, yeah. Okay, what makes you say that? Um, because since I was young, I've always I've had this desire to be free, I don't mm -hmm. know, to not have pressure, and so that, am, that manifested into goals of, or a vision for what I wanted to be, and have a clear vision of what that was. And that sort of set got, um, stages of things I needed to do to get to that state. Mm -hmm. now, so, it, so yeah, I am, but it, the interesting thing for me is it's never fulfilled. I'm never, it's, it's a constant state of ambition. It's not the achievement of something. Mm -hmm. And ambition's interesting because it's not just your career ambition, but it's your family ambition. Because those values are now, I put on my family as well, not yeah. just me and my career or whatever else, or your sport or whatever it is. It's kind of okay, so you see it as beyond career. So. Yeah, yeah it's, quite a, it's quite a broad uh, um, and probably consistent personality trait. Right. Yeah, this I've, drive that you're describing. Yeah, yeah just, and it's all about, I think, um, it's never, you can't even say I fulfilled that ambition now because yeah. it just grows. It's like weeds mm. around freedom, I think, for me. Okay. So why do you think you're this way? I think there was a point in my life I remember it really poignantly when I was about 11 or 12 when I decided I, didn't, I wanted more than what right. I had. And that's a weird thing because it's not really... Um, it's not um, things, but right. material things, but it is. So mm -hmm. it was sort of, mm -hmm. it led me down a path of wanting to be, to not have to work for someone and be free to make my own decisions and do stuff. And then when I did work for people as part of that journey, I realised I really didn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be in my own business and doing my own thing. So I kind of, just sort of, the outcome of being free led all of this other stuff. Okay. Mm. It's weird. Mm. Weird experience. Mm. So, describe the most ambitious person that you know. Now, mm. I thought about this because my natural inclination was to choose a bloke because mm. I see that a lot more in my like I'm a creative industry, so I see it a lot more in blokes in creative. Right. Because they, and I think possibly because maybe I don't know, maybe they're allowed to be mm -hmm. more than women, I I, and I, I, maybe that's changing. But so I've deliberately thought about a, a, a woman that works in my office actually, and she's 24, and she she's so ambitious. And I look at her because she's got. A plan of what she wants to do. She's kind of almost mapped it out in her mind, even though some of it she's articulated it, and I know that, and some of it I know she hasn't. But it's just clearly evident in everything that she does, mm -hmm. the way she presents herself, the care and effort she takes, and what she does, um, the people that she takes with her. It, it, it's just an inherent part of her personality, and I can I look at it. But there's, a, there's another guy that I that I know also in my industry who he came into New Zealand from Australia. And he, he was two years here, and then you could just see he was going to do two years in the UK, and then he did two years in Australia, and then he did two years back in the US. And he's just... Very he methodical. Just, yeah, it's just a step-by-step -step process. And from the moment you met him, he just sort of had the talent, mm -hmm. and I think the ability to recognise the opportunity right. about what to be ambitious, because mm -hmm. I think that's part of it. But you've got to want it, and to see that opportunity. 